Hey you guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog, another day, another vlog. I'm on a roll this week, but it's been fun, especially because I'm here by myself and Tyler's been gone. I just wanted to start vlogging more and we'll be on a trip. So I was like, okay, I'll have some things to put up when we're gone. But yes, I'm so excited. I just got back from the gym and I figured I would start vlogging before because I have something I want to show you guys. But first, I just put in my dinner really quick. It is 6.15, 6.19. Um, I went to work today. Starbucks on Wednesdays is half off after 12. So I got my first Trenta, which is like huge. Nobody needs that much coffee. It's honestly probably really bad for you. But I got it to have a few sips tonight as like my pre-workout and then I'm just gonna bring the rest for work tomorrow. I think whatever I have left is the equivalent to like a, a venti. So I'm so excited to treat myself tomorrow. So anyway, yes, I went to work. I got my half off iced coffee that made my day. I've been trying to practice patience lately because I don't have any and I'm trying, I don't know, it ruins my day because I don't have patience and I'm a very like timely routine structured person. So once one thing, puts me off or like puts me over my time that I had scheduled, I feel like the rest of my day is off and I just like let it slip away from me, if that makes sense. Like today I was at work for 20 minutes longer than usual and then I decided to do a grocery pickup after. So I got home like 45 minutes later than usual. And usually I would say, okay, I'm eating something fast or I'm skipping the gym. And today I was like, you know what? I'm not even paying attention to the time. Once I left work, didn't pay attention at all, took my time going to Starbucks, wasn't annoyed I had to wait. Not that I'm like physically annoyed to the people, like no, it's just like inside my brain that ruins my day, not to like anybody else. And then I did grocery pickup, I came back. I was a little sad because Ralph's, I had a home chef for tonight so that I could eat healthy. And then it's for two people so I'd have the other one tomorrow. And they didn't substitute it, but I didn't get my home chef. So I was like, I don't have any food. Like that was a full on meal that they didn't fulfill. So I sat in the parking lot, I went on my phone and I looked at everything else I ordered and I was like, you know what? I can make something out of the groceries I picked up. So I'm making my infamous air fried chicken wrap. Um, there's seven servings in here for 150 calories each. So I'm going to do that on my little 80 calorie tortillas. And I have some black beans left over from yesterday. And then I'm gonna do some hot sauce and some ranch and that sounds really good to me for some reason. So I'm excited for that. And then hold your horses. I'm trying these little Yazo Greek yogurt sandwiches and Tyler like loves ice cream. I mean, I love ice cream too. So I usually try to find little single things like this that are like pretty big. And my favorite is the ice cream sandwiches from Trader Joe's, but I'm not going all the way to Trader Joe's. So I got these little chocolate and mint chip, already smells so good, um, ice cream sandwiches. So I'm excited, I wanna have one of those tonight too. It's just the little things you guys, like the ice cream sandwiches, it was $4 to make my day. The iced coffee was half off, it was $2 to make my day. So I'm trying to keep my spirits up with the little things. As you know, I've been very, very stressed with everything that's been going on lately. So I'm just trying to work through it, figure it out. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or a negative person. I just can't get over this lighting. Like, isn't this beautiful? This is what we paid for, kids. So any whoozle, I want to unbox two packages I have from Amazon. I'm assuming it's for our trip. I kind of want to do a video of what I bought for Bali because I bought so much stuff and it's stuff I feel like I need. Like this is, it's a, oh, it's saran wrapped. It's a flyaway hair wand instead of like the stick that people have been buying to like press up against their head for like a slicked back look. I wanted this mascara wand, mascara wand type thing. It's from Bestland because my hair has a lot, a lot, a lot of breakage. And I don't think that the stick is what I need. I need it more for like the top of my head where my breakage is, not really here. And I figured with this wand, I could still like wear my hair down the next day or whatever because it's not like slicking it to my head, you know? But that's just my thought. I haven't actually tried it yet. It's called Finishing Hair Cream. It says easy using and carrying, carrying 
contains plant extracts, can easily take care of all kinds of hair and play a role in maintaining hair. That is what I need, sis. Maybe I'll try it this weekend, but it's just like this little wand and kind of smells like aloe, but also like hairspray. So it's kind of goopy, but I mean, just like mascara, it's like wet at first, but I'm sure that's the perfect consistency. So I'll have to try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. If I remember correctly, this had really good reviews on Amazon. And I feel like it's just such a small size. It's like light enough to carry around with you places, like when you travel or whatever, because you have limited space. Oh, there's a few things in here. So this first thing, oh, I was talking about this in my last vlog. This is the Covered Soul sticker. I'm dumb, I know. This is just literally 3M tape that they just repackaged as their own. But I got it because it had really good reviews for the like ease of it. I don't know, it was $10 and you're supposed to just draw your heel around it, which I'm fine with. I have an X-Acto knife and I just feel like shoes are all different sizes, you know, like pointy, round, flat. So I'm okay with doing that. I just hope I don't cut my shoe. But then it talks about how to add it to your shoe. I thought it was gonna be a little grippier, so this is interesting. Again, it had really good reviews. Usually I don't buy stuff from Amazon unless it does have really good reviews, like thousands. So I'll have to try this for my Louboutins that I'm wearing to the courthouse next weekend. Next, I got these liquid ant baits. We have had massive ant issues by like the door and the cupboard since we moved here. And I bought the little Raid white ones that's like $4 for a pack of four. And I forgot it says that it takes about a week for it to work. And we've lived here exactly like a week and two days. In the last two days I've noticed it's been a lot better. But I guess we can keep these on deck because these had like 17,000 reviews. I know, mind blowing. If they come back, we'll just use these instead because um, these had really good reviews. The other ones I bought at Walmart, so I didn't research them first. And then two fun things. I love this brand from Amazon, Pavoy, because they have a lot of rose gold and also they have a lot of rings in a bigger size. But again, for our courthouse pictures, I wanted to pick up some bracelets. So I kind of wish I got a stretchy one of like this beaded rose gold bracelet. It just has like a chain. I wish I got a stretchy one, but I'll have to try this on, see what it looks like. I'm excited. I wanted to do a little bit of stacking. I already have one little bracelet. So I wanted to just do a few. So I'll probably end up with like three total. And then this last one, this one's supposed to be like a little tennis bracelet which also looked cute. I liked how petite it was because it looked like it was very dainty. Yeah, this one's adjustable. This I love. And then look, it's so sparkly for being $15 from Amazon. Check that out, you guys. That's nuts. So cute and easy to do with one hand by yourself. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. So anyway, I have to lay out all of that stuff. I have to figure out my hair and makeup and then my accessories and everything to make sure I'm not missing anything. But you guys, I've been talking your ear the heck off. I have one more thing to show you guys then I'm gonna finish making my dinner. But I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna shower really quick because the chicken only has 11 minutes left and I wanna shower while it's cooking. But look at this. This is why I couldn't shower yet. Look what Tyler surprised me with. The cutest little towel warmer. Can you even believe your eyes? And it has like this little um, scent disc in here. You probably can't see it, but it smells like lavender. And this is the coolest gift anybody has ever gotten to me, ever, ever, ever. I'm confused because our shower, or I mean our bathroom doesn't have any outlets anywhere except the counter. But look at the base of it. It's all wood, so it matches like the beige, tan, wood vibe in here. But isn't that so nice? He said it was a housewarming gift for me, so I thought that was the cutest thing ever. I feel like guys aren't usually the best at that stuff, so it was really thoughtful that he went and did that for me. But I'm gonna shower. I've been talking for way too long, and then I'm gonna update you guys on what I do for the rest of the night, because I have no idea what that's gonna be yet. So, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, we have moved on from dinner. My camera battery was flashing so i charged it so i just took a picture i didn't film it 
but I'm working on my care package for my cousin for coming to take our courthouse pictures. I'm hoping I can get this video up in time or maybe order a few different things so that you guys can answer to help me with what to order. I'm thinking of doing some sort of like little care package because I can't think of one thing that's like a good enough monetary value that would be like worth it. So I'm trying to think of a bunch of like little things, but I don't want her to have to take a lot of stuff in her carry-on home. And I think I'm kind of at that point where I'm getting too much stuff. So I wanted to show you guys really quick. So the first thing I was thinking of is a Stanley. I know that these are really popular and she loves cups and stuff like this. And she loves the color cream and everything. So I feel like she would really, oh, they have a fog color. That's cute. And I just feel like she would like this. And honestly, $35 isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that Stanley's were a lot more expensive. But I feel like this would be cute. And then I tried to find from Sam's Club a little white fox jumper. But I can't find one, so I'm kind of giving up on that. I tried to find a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. But they're honestly way more expensive than I thought. I knew that they would be up there, but $120 for a cardigan, I feel like it's a lot of money. Moving on to my next option, I thought that these Ugg slingbacks were really cute. I thought that them being $50 was honestly a good deal, because I remember when they came out like last year or the year before, and they were like really expensive. But I feel like those are so cute, and they're her vibe, and they have like a charcoal-y, um, like dusty brown color, so I'm trying to decide between those. And then from Nordstrom, or I was looking at, um, the Skims Fits Everybody bralette because I've raved about this to her for so long and keep telling her that she needs to try it. So I think that it would be cool to get her one. And then I really want to get her the Capri Blue Volcano candle because that is my favorite scent ever. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite candle. So I thought that that would be perfect. And her room is all white, so I feel like it would go well with her room decor too. So I'm looking at those few things. The other thing I wanted to get, which just seems kind of expensive, is the um, the Longchamp tote. She had her eye on one for a little while, and they have them at her TJ Maxx for only $100. Not only, that's a lot of money, but online they're like $130. I was also looking at cow packs, which are so expensive. Why are bags so expensive? Especially when there's dupes available that look exactly the same on Amazon. And then there was another bag, the Dagny Glover. Dagny? Daphne Glover? I don't know. I forgot what it's called. But those are expensive too, and I just can't seem to bite the bullet. She has base, so maybe she doesn't even need a bag. I don't know. But I need to figure this out because I need to order ASAP so that it gets here in time. And it's eight o'clock, which means the Real Housewives little episode is going to start. So I really wanted to try that um, ice cream sandwich because I'm like a person who has dessert like right after dinner. I don't usually wait. <laughs> I mean, I don't have dessert at like 5, but I usually have, I definitely, definitely have it before 8. So this is a little late for me, but I didn't want to do it until I was done researching because I was trying to practice self-control. And it has been getting dark so much earlier lately. I feel like out of nowhere, it felt like the days were long for a really long time. And now just lately, it just seems like the days are like super short again, which is sad because it's only August. See, this is the perfect size. This is exactly what I was going for. This is so cute. Mm. Cold, oh, that was a good ice cream sandwich. I'm not usually a mint chip girl, but that is so good. But I'm going to go catch Real Housewives of Orange County since it's just starting now. And I'll keep you guys posted on what else I'm doing. I don't really know. I've already had dinner, showered. I haven't made my lunch yet tomorrow. I'm still researching and I still have to buy some stuff for Bali. So I'll just keep you guys posted. Hey, you guys. <laughs> It's the next day. I feel like we are picking up where we left off. I'm back in my closet. The lighting in here is not the best I'm realizing, but I'm about to start pulling some things aside. Sorry about that. For Bali. 
I know there's some very specific like matching sets and stuff that I keep thinking about and I just want to put them to one side of my closet so that I can just kind of like start packing early I guess because I really 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 want to film a like pack with me video before I leave but I got some more packages in today like I said I'm buying things like crazy because I feel like we need so much stuff for our trip and we just moved so I feel like we need a lot of stuff for the apartment and we've had so many guests come already like my brother came and then my cousin comes on Wednesday and then we leave the following Wednesday so we are running out of time so I'm trying to stay remain or I'm trying to remain calm but really quick before I end this vlog and before I start my next video I really wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up today as like a little part two of the haul a lot of things came in the mail and then I went to TJ Maxx just looking for something so I don't even know where to begin the first thing I guess is Hollister let me fix the camera okay that's a little better the first thing is Hollister I ordered well all of the jeans on the website men and women are $25 so I remembered Hollister fit me pretty well. So I ordered these just white long mom jeans and while they fit me perfectly, they're not long. And I don't get why, cause they're not cropped. It's just the ultra high rise and I got it in a four long, but they're just not long. Like they still hit my ankle, which is kind of odd. So I think that maybe I need to get a baggier pair, like maybe the like men's or like dad what is it called dad rise dad fit or something dad jean i think i need to get those instead because they honestly just looked like an ill-fitting skinny jean so i'm really sad about that because now i have to go return something and i really thought these would work out and they fit great but they just looked odd i guess and then next from hollister you guys look how freaking cute you're gonna die tyler got this shirt for bali it's really nice and airy it's really humid there and it's gonna be hot when we go so this is just really nice and airy and thin and he doesn't have anything like this and i'm so excited because i think it's so cute and it's gonna look so good on him and then the next thing that he got is this one also from hollister this is so cute this one's just like all green but it has all of this embroidering detail and it's just so cute he has a lot of these types of shirts from hollister they're just all plain colored none of them have like patterns or anything and these are his first two like fun ones so i'm very excited for him to try them on and to see what they look like and then next from amazon so i ended the vlog last night i believe on the couch or maybe after talking about the things that i needed to order for my cousin it was the longest experience of my life. I don't know how to repay her for what she's doing for us. So I ended up ordering my favorite candle and then I got her a Barefoot Dreams cardigan and then Ugg slippers. And then I'm gonna get her some like snacks and treats and stuff since she'll be staying here. But the candle already came, it came the next day. So I got her the Capri Blue Volcano candle. This one's a bit smaller than what I'm used to, but I was like, eh, whatever. She has to travel back with it and it's pretty heavy. So I feel like that'll end up being perfect. And then last thing from Amazon is this full shine 100% human hair. You guys, I've never worn extensions before in my whole, whole, whole entire life. But I've been losing a lot of hair the past year, I'm assuming because of stress and anxiety nothing i try helps so i'm looking into getting some like k18 products because i don't know i need to do something especially this side of my head like i don't have like any hair so for our pictures i really wanted to wear extensions and like i watched a lot of youtube videos on how to install them i'm just worried that these aren't going to be the right shade oh no it looks significantly darker i don't want to take it out of the package and ruin it it's also hard because it's behind two layers of black mesh oh no we'll have to see after but i got this and they were doing a sale on human hair i don't know this is very random and very weird i feel a little uncomfortable talking about it but these are supposed to be tapins yeah we'll we'll see how that works and then last but not least I stopped by Target. I forgot I went to two places, Target and TJ Maxx because they're right next to each other. I got my cousin little sour gummy worms because I'm pretty sure that's one of her favorite candies. I got her just a little thank you card that says, you're wonderful. Cause I just always say, you're wonderful. And then I got not one, not two, but three bags of Drizzlelicious, you guys. Three bags because I have only been able to find these on Amazon and they're $8 for two bags, but it was $8 for three. 
So I'm going to give one of these to her too because this is one of my favorite snacks. And I figured we could keep one at the house and then bring one on our trip because we're going to need snacks for our trip, I'm assuming. And then last but not least... I got the viral House of Harlow like Bottega dupe earrings. I already did a House of Harlow haul like a pretty long time ago now at this point and I was looking everywhere for these earrings and I talked about it in the video and I was like I can't find these earrings anywhere and I found them today and they were $13. They were $12.99 and they had the other kind too that's like a bit of a longer drop earring but these ones I'm pretty sure are the closest to looking like the Bottega I think and I'm so excited because I don't have any chunky earrings like this so i'm excited to try those on but yeah that is everything that i got if i have time tonight i'm going to try to put the anti-slip thing on my louboutins i think i showed that in this video i can't remember everything's a blur now but i'm going to end this vlog here because when i start forgetting what i filmed i feel like it's just going to end up being a bad video but stay tuned because i have a lot of exciting content coming up you guys and give me any comments of anything you want to see specifically down below especially if it revolves around like traveling new apartment decorating shopping exploring you know the vibes so just let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <music>